Hi, I'm Olivia F. Scott, and I am the founder of Emerge Alliances, as well as the creator of Freedom at the Mat. I've worked in advertising for the past 27 years on the agency, the media, and the brand side. So I'm going to share with you my five tips of thriving and succeeding as a powerful woman. Number one, remain humble and irrelevant, right? As you succeed in life, you will have the temptation to believe that you are the greatest thing on earth. Your clients will laud you, the people who work on your teams will laud you, but the reality is there's always someone new and next. There's always someone who is hungry for the position that you have acquired. So I invite us all to own the power and, and be appreciative for what you've accomplished in your life, but to stay humble and grounded and also to remain relevant. By relevant, you know, I've been working in this industry for 27 years, so I'm not a young chicken anymore, but I still invest in myself through classes and workshops. So I encourage you to do the same thing as well. There's always new information from the next generation that you can learn that'll keep you relevant and in a leadership position. Number two, own your power. So I have found that as women, we're not always comfortable having power. Power sometimes is considered to be a dirty word, a negative thing. But if you have been granted any iota of power, whether it's as an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur, in any aspect, as a boss, you have to find a way to own it. There were times in my career in which I was literally just not comfortable and I relegated that power to people on my team and that didn't have the greatest result for me. I lost control of the work product and that was a detriment to my business. So I encourage you to find the courage, even if you have to borrow the courage for a moment, fake it till you make it, to really own the power that you have been given. Number three, do not get connected to your position power. When Vibe Magazine folded, when I was the head of marketing associate power publisher, we were ripped of those positions overnight. If I had overly identified with that power, then I would have been in shambles. Who am I? Who was Olivia Scott? But I have to trust that my God-given talent and my abilities will go with me wherever. And so the position that you hold today, the particular power that you have today, it's just position power. It can change at any moment. So still have an identity of yourself and for yourself outside of these positions that we hold through our work lives and professional lives. Number four, always operate with integrity. I have found that there will always be opportunities when you're in business, especially business for yourself, for you to cheat a client, for you to take more money. And I don't recommend it. I have found a time when there was a client I had that I still have to this day that sent me an extra check for $10,000 in the mail. They paid me electronically and also mailed a paper check. And I was like, what is this? And I thought for a fleeting moment about keeping that check, but then I decided, that's not right. It's just not ethical. It's not the right thing to do. I informed them of it and I said, well, hey, this is what happened. I can hold on to it and cash it as my final payment, but you should know that you did issue erroneously through your accounting department an extra check. And I found I just felt better about myself. I sleep better at night and the client trusted me and they still are one of my largest grossing clients to this day. And lastly, protect your systems. We all have a certain way, a certain methodology that allows for us to be efficient with getting our work product delivered to our clients. Whatever your methods are, I invite you to protect them. Protect them with everything you have because it's what makes you different. Those systems, your value proposition, and your differentiated offerings. You know, as agencies in particular, I'm talking specifically to my advertising people and media people, you know, we all are doing the same thing. 
we're creating ideas, we are placing media for our clients. It's similar, but it's what's here, our intellectual property, and it's our systems to get that work done. When I have subcontractors, I have in my agreement that you cannot share my systems. And if you do, there are very specific ramifications for doing so. So I wish every woman and man watching this video the most success in your career. And I hope these five tips help you. If you'd like to learn more about me, you can visit either of my websites, omergealliances.com or freedomatthemat.com. Take care.